Okay, in this video, I show you how to uh, make this for your woodwork. Uh, also, the key point is how to draw the vectors of this. Okay, let's get start from ArtCam new model, 400 and 600 millimeter, and origin at the left bottom. Okay. First, we need to draw some lines. Click and hold the control button. Click, right click, and give it length 600. Apply and the position at zero zero. Apply. Okay. Then we use the uh, block copy. And make the 50 and here 0 and here make it 9 and 0 uh, 1 arrow, ok apply ok, so we got all these lines draw another line control to make it vertical right click OK, make it 0 to 50. One column and uh, 13. Oh, I forgot to give it size first. 400, 0, zero. apply. OK, then we copy. OK, then in the vector here, give it a name, erase the locket, and I create a new layer, vector layer, then I draw a circle from either of the joints and uh, to here and uh, make it 50 exactly great uh, let me use the trim vector to Cut it and here select this nose and right click and cut vector. So I got these two arc control C and control V. Then I move this to here, select this control C and control V and move it here. Okay. I select the four vectors and I use this drawn vectors with coincident nodes. And here shows we have four vectors now and after this function we will have one. Okay, we join, so we have one closed vector. Okay, I move it here and uh, mirror and make sure copy the original objects is selected and use the right okay select both right again okay control C control V move it aside and uh, rotate 90 degree Okay, then move it in this way. Okay, then control C, control V, move it to this. Okay, hold the shift key, select them both, and then do a Bottom copy. 
Okay. And, uh, we select these two bows, Control C and Control V. Move it here. Okay. And, uh, Control C, Control V again. Move it here. Select these two, Control C, Control V. Move it here, and this one, and move it here. Control C, Control V, move it here. Control V, move it here. There's two, Control C, Control V. Move it here. This and this, Control C, Control V. Okay, looks good. I think we can remove these two. Okay. Then I hide the grid layer, then I select these vectors, Control C and Control V. I move it here. Okay, Control V again. Move it here. Okay. I select these four, Control C, Control V. I'll move it here. Okay, so now we have the vectors almost ready. We save it to uh, a break. Okay, so now we select all these and uh, use the offset and uh, inside uh, about five inwards and uh, sharp offset. Okay, we have the offset.
we do Control X to cut them. And in the project, we create a new layer. Offset. Okay, we control V and we give the vector a different color. Make it green maybe. Okay, so we we'll also hide that. Okay, so now we have this. And then we draw a rectangle. And make it 400 and 600. And here the make it 200 and uh, 300 so it will be in the center on the page okay so now we do the cut Okay, and now we delete this rectangle also. But these vectors are open, we can use them for CNC router cutting. So we select them in this way and uh, we use this close vector with a line. If you don't have that, Click on it and you will find it. Okay, so they are all closed. You see here is a green nose on it. Okay, also these ones. Hold the shift key, select these ones and these ones uncheck this and uh, close them okay and now we can use them and also you can if you want to save this you can um, use this vector library and uh, make one of your name and uh, you drop the offset into it. Okay, so next time you can just drag the offset on your work area and to use this one. So now we select them both to path and uh, um, 2D to path finish that, make it 18 and uh, inside we use a 2 6 millimeter but we make it nine so it will go two pass Past this and uh, we'll make it 18. Okay. Do it now. Okay. And now we simulate it. And then we get this work down. <coughs> and if you have some special end mill with this R corner, you can get this work down by one cut. It's very simple to use, very easy. You can buy it from your local hardware store.
okay this one or this one you can buy similar ones and uh, make sure this is same to your workboard um, thickness your MDF board thickness equal to this is okay and here as we don't have that too uh, in at cam we can make another one make uh, a long and a four and we choose a vinyl we may we need to select this make it six okay then we calculate now and uh, simulate okay we get something like this I think we go um, too much on this the second two path so I reset the simulation and uh, we change it to 4, calculate again we do a simulate and uh, simulate again ok, this time looks much better or maybe we we'll make it 5 uh, ok, so now we get this work down in AdCam and it's uh, just simple and easy to use the vector and uh, block copy to do something like this hope this video uh, helps you somehow with your work okay thank you for watching see you next time bye